This playthrough is rated T for teen. Time to recreate a famous obscure movie, Yuri vs. the Volcano. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Von are back here with another episode of Shadow Hearts Covenant. In the last episode, we went to the Forest of Wind and found the Unagami uh, Village and found out that Yuri has an ant. A smoking one. But uh, we can enjoy it. Yuri can't. But anyway, so we need to head off to Mount Fuji to stop Astaroth. But uh, uh, before that, let's get one thing before we head on. Make sure Blanca is prepped with rage and some defensive stuff. And we meet a wolf here with uh, really, really big eyebrows. Did you come from Fooly Cooly? Actually, this game came out before that. So but anyway, this is Matsunaga, one of the wolf bout contestants. Stop, wolf. Are you the wolf traveling with Corando these days? Yeah, what of it? Protecting Unugami is the job of the Matsunagas. We don't need your help. What do I care about your family history? Silence, impudent pup. My claws will teach you a lesson. <laughs> Sometimes retreat is the best plan. You asked for it. You think you can beat me? A man shouldn't make idle threats. I won't stand for any more of your insults. Now you'll witness the prowess of the house of Matsunaga. I'll witness the power of the house of Blanca for boss battle events against Matsunaga. This guy's probably one of the more dangerous of the wolf bouts because he has physical defense down, which has a high, pretty high activation point. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't get hit by it, but really for this guy, I would suggest just all out assault, get yourself rage. Um, he'll cast a, a barrier and shield on himself, so we need something to bypass the shield. Um, also, maybe Gale to get some turns in a little bit quicker. But so we'll do Gale first, and then rage, and then just go all out. And then yeah, get rage going. And then heal when you can get to it, so. Obviously I gave Mind's Eye to Blanca there, so. So that way I can just wreck him. Oh yeah, Matsunaga's got 900 experience. He's light class, 3,500 experience, or light elemental. Zero soul, zero MP, he's lightweight, 4,500 cash, and drops the P defend down three, so. Yeah, with mine's eye, this kind of makes it a joke. Good boy. But yeah, because of the uh, his speed defense down uh, ability, that makes like I said, it can make it the hardest out of the fights. But but with mine's eye, we just ruin him. How could I be so careless? How could I lose focus on the battlefield? That's what you get for bringing personal feelings into the battle. I'm mortified. Let me give you my stump as a symbol of my undying shame. Huh. Bring in personal business. It's the same with the Godfather, I guess. It's the same with Wolf Bouts. Anyway, Soul Comet is powered up. Okay, and that's it for that fight. I've disgraced my family's name. Yeah, we got one more, and then we'll have. Well, then we can get to the fin finals of the Wolf Bout. So let's take a look at his. Uh, um, oh, I forgot to go over the wolf. The pause that actually shows like all their abilities and everything like that. So I guess we could do it now. So Tetsu treats Ernest as Ernst. Yeah, Ernest as his grandfather. Normally a beaten, but ha obedient, but has a fierce side as well. Still a child in the ways of combat and conversation. He's one elemental. And then uh, Blanca, which is a representative of, of uh, Terry from uh, King of Fighters. After the battle in Le Havre, he returned to his hometown. Dreamed of a rematch for the battle he lost till the end of his days. Oh, that's sad. And yeah, it tells him if they're male, female, how how old they are. So, oh, a lot of them are pretty young. One in New York. Jerome, uh, male, one year, nine months, born in Florence, water elemental. Academ Academia Valor Victorian, also a PhD. After the defeat, became a fierce wolf rights advocate. It tells you what happens after the game. Anyway, Henry, nine to one. He should be dead. Wolves don't live that long. But he's supposed to be a man turned into a wolf. Hey, we're born in southern France, wind elemental. 
An old man turned into a wolf by a spell, called the old tiger for his sharp reflexes, which belie his age of more than 90 human years old. Philip, uh, Philippe, uh, male, four years and two months, French island. Uh, Philippe, a born and bred Saint Marguerite Wolf, a dedicated fan of the fair sex, thinks about she wolves constantly on his deserted island. Well, I mean, if he's on his deserted island without any fair ladies there, I could see why. Uh, R3, male, age unknown, born, planet Zuzeron. I don't know what someone was smoking when they created this character. Uh, Arthur Emoticon's Lesson 1. What the? Is a smiley face, I guess? I bow my head to you. Smiley face with under, uh, underlines? I don't know. I'm not good at emoticons, my friends. Anyway. Necros. Age. Well, died at age 6, apparently. Born in Petrograd. Ugh, that one's really messed up. Looks like old fat. Actually, it looks like the Cerberus is from the previous game or other horror franchises. Actually, from Resident Evil. A wolf who died at age six and spent uh, four centuries as a zombie possesses amazing self control and discipline. For a zombie, I guess. Uh, Maya. Or Maya? Mayan? Anyway. Male, four years, three months. Ardenese region. Of the. Obviously, the reference to the Gundam Black Tri Stars. It even has all three versions of them there. Boss of the dreaded Black Dog Stars. A decorated soldier in his youth. Now married and on the run from his nagging wife. Ouch. Martega, a rough and tumble member of the Black Dog Stars, acts tough but steals to make money to save his ailing mother. And then fight. Whoops, sorry. Press the wrong button there. And then Mash, the dog, the brains of the Black Dog Stars, stubborn and not well liked, afraid of being left by his pack mates, he always tries to impress them. Carbon, attacked and set afire while returning home from the battlefield, age 28 at the time of his death. Better burn out than fade away. Yeah, uh, I think that's all the same for them on their years, or they're roughly the same age. But anyway, Carbon, yeah, age 28. Born Aizu Wakamatsu. Uh, Eleanor, female, age two, two years, three months, born in Norway. She went all the way to Japan? Anyway, yeah, she looks like a wolf that someone forced mascara on her. Ugh. And yet her uh, uh, portrait doesn't look like that, so... An ill-fated she-wolf doomed to fight the one she loves, most loved. Spent the rest of her days alone, pining for his return. I feel kind of sad for her, but she's kind of scary too. So, you know. Matsunaga, male, two years, one month, born in Unagi village. Heir of the Matsunaga clan, killed by Blanca before he could marry. His death signaled the end of the Matsunaga legacy. What? We didn't kill him. I guess maybe he, you know, kind of, uh, in, in, uh turned himself into the, the skeleton closet, if you know what I mean. But, uh, okay. Yeah, we didn't kill him, though. He was there, so, uh, yeah, I'm not taking, I'm not taking credit for that game. Don't do that to me. Anyway, uh, let's see. Soul Comet, we can now hit people nine times. When we max it out, it'll be ten times, so. It'll never be as many crazy hits as some of the other characters, but still does decent damage if they're earth elemental or normal, so. All right, now that we're done with that, we could go on to the mountain. However, let's do one more thing before we go off. One, I want to heal. I might go to Florence and get a free heal so I don't have to pay for it, use a tent. There's probably a faster way to do it, but I find going to Florence is quicker. Man, let's go back to the Imperial Capital here. Oh wait, no, we want to go to the Yokama Street, sorry. We want to go find Croft and uh, uh, Give, give him the reward. Or tell him we found the, the buried treasure. The buried treasure! Alright, Croft. I found your treasure. What else you got? Croft back again. What? You what is that? Oh yes, it's your treasure, my friend. Damn it! you really started to bug me. How did you find it so fast? So, you want another beating? You think I'll just give up? No way. I'll take you. I'll take you one. Here it is, my friend. Challenge. This time, I'm my, uh, sorry. This is my final challenge. This time, I'm serious. I'm super serial. Treasure done. Yeah, it's the final treasure of the game. Or, sorry, final treasure, secret hidden treasure. So this really is the last time? You bet, although it's only because I've run out of treasures to hide. But this last cold is extra difficult. This time you can't possibly beat me. Oh, you think so? You have any other dialogue? See, the cold's almost impossible. It's going to be really annoy you, and you still won't find the treasure. All right, I don't believe you. Why do I feel like this is going to be the easiest one out of all of them? Done. All right. 
What do the following have in common? Find the answer and find the treasure. Garden next to rock pond. Well, we yeah, I know where that is. Like, uh, let's just go to, uh, oh wait, not. Well, this is where they hung out before. No, we want to go to, uh, actually, is there anyone here after the whole situation? No, I didn't think so. Okay, well anyway, we need to go back to the Imperial capital. Uh, let me go back, Imperial capital. We want to go to Mu uh, Mukuon, which is where uh, Nawami is. And we need to go to his, like, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, do you guys have anything to say? Come back soon, we can go to the park together again, right, Plonka? Sounds good to me. 90 was his name, sorry. Oh, you're back. What are you going off again? Right to what? You're going off again right away? I see. Well, come back any time when you're not so busy. Yoshiko and I will be expecting you. Okay, nothing from you. But anyway, if you check this thing here, we get the dog bone. Huh? Let's check it out. Yeah, the look at that. Well, it's not that huge of a jump, but still pretty decent. All right. Anyway, dog bone, animal bone used for draw strengthening exercises. Animal bone unearthed at Mukio on can be given to a dog to strengthen its jaw. So, all right. Well, that was easy, dude. Let's see what uh. Let's go back to uh, Croft and uh, tell him tell him the good news. Yeah, that took us like five seconds, man. All right, so how does this side quest end? Because, yeah, that, that's the final uh, hidden treasure side quest, so. Yeah, we're going to start finishing off side quest, or Well, some of the ones we started at the beginning of the game we're going to be finishing off here pretty soon. But don't worry. We won't be done with side quest. Where'd he go? Huh. There's this kid here. What does he have to say? Koshi, uh, Kamashida, a passerby. If you're looking for the guy who was here before, he left a few days ago. We were just around the corner, dude. He was shouting something about going to look for a treasure died. What a weirdo. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's the... Pretty much you get the bone, and that's the end of the, the uh, treasure hunting side quest. All right. Anyway, let's head on to the Immortal Mountain and see if we can defeat Astaroth once and for all. Or at least deal with him. Ooh. All right. Oh, I probably should maneuver my guys around a little bit. Oh, yeah, so I was going to heal. Uh, let me go go heal really quick and rearrange my party. I'll be right back. All right, we got our, uh, healed up and ready to go through this, uh, through the Fuji. Just who knew that Mount Fuji was just somewhere where you can just kind of walk on into and save it. So right, save it here. All right, there should be an item over here, I think. Yeah, pre extract. Yeah, didn't get hit by anyone yet. Hmm. Surprise. Ooh, what's this? What's this glowing thing? It looks like some kind of altar. Huh. I'll remember that for later, I think. Anyway, let's go this way. And we find a treasure chest. And a battle, of course. Alright, let's see what we fight. All right, we got ourselves Scorpi Scorpulus, Scorpulus, and uh, Samurai Ghoul. All right, let's just uh, let's just defend for now, just so uh, we can get some pictures from Anastasia. Then I'll swap her out for someone else. Just because I've been using her quite a bit. Mainly, I usually use her for a first time run, and then secondary runs I don't use her as much. Mainly because I already get. Uh oh, let's finish him off next because he used energy charge. All right, now we got quite a few people, so. So you should probably do enough damage against him so no you might not be able to finish him off in one go so we'll uh, uh use passion um 
might be able to do enough damage. I, mean, I could do combat magic, but it's better to. Yeah, Scorpios just have quite a bit of HP. There you go. But with Mind's Eye, no problem. That was a pretty good. I'm sorry to ruin your dialogue there, Yuri. Uh, let's take a look at these guys. Oh yeah, I forgot to go over a library almost. So, uh, let's see. Mutant Snail. Snail, oh no, I think, did I go over these guys last time? I think I did, so, okay, well, anyway. Uh, Kuniki, the four-armed mother goddess of fire. She has uh, protected the islands of Japan against evil forces since the time of Izan Izanagi and Izanami. And there's her stats there. And then we've got Samurai Ghosts. Uh, are they, uh, or sorry, Samurai Ghouls. Are they ghouls or samurais? But anyway, unclean spirit of a samurai who has been cursed to wander the earth for his sin of caring more about talking, taking life than caring about than about achieving victory. He's earth elemental. He's got 321 HP, 55 MP. He's lightweight. Uh, 1,810 cash or experience. 1,478 cash. Three souls. Uh, the 1,810 was experience. Man, sometimes I get really weird dyslexic dyslexia sometimes. He's immune to poison, D poison, paralysis, seal, insta death, P defense down, S attack down, S defense down, slow, evade down, and HP down. The items he drops are um, pure roots and mana extracts. And then Scorpuluses, uh, they drop uh, mana roots or possibly ninja geese. They have 800 experience, 200 MP, heavyweight. 2,760 experience, 2,286 cash, four souls, immune to poison, D poison, paralysis, seal, and petrify, instant death, P attack down, P defense down, S attack down, S defense down. Uh, ancient armored creature from prehistoric Japan, though normally content to feed quality, uh, quietly, quietly on moss, it is known to attack anything that gets in the line of its vision. And it's light elemental, so. All right, anyway, if we check this chest here, get ourselves the Samgina crest. Or some guy now? Ah, I don't know. Some guy, what you do about it? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at it. Where are you? There he is. Uh, cure and resurrection. Yeah, resurrection will restore all HP in an ally, so we don't. So you have another option outside the talismans. Although I've barely, rarely had to like resurrect people in this game. I've only had to do it a handful of times. If you know what you're doing, anyway. So, all right. Okay, so we need to find a way to do something with that with that altar there. So let's just keep exploring around. There's got to be something around here. Hmm, what's this? A red crystal. Don't t do not touch the red jewel. I don't even though it says crystal there, but okay. Whatever. All right, well, let me see where. Red crystal. A crystal containing the heat of the sacred immortal mountain's magma. Magma. When offered at the shrine within the mountain, unseen paths are revealed. Ooh, so that's how we how we deal with the altar. All right. Look, there's a round depression here. Do you think we should try putting this crystal in it? Yeah, baby. Put the crystal in here. Okay, let's try it. Ooh, yikes! What the hell happened? We got transported. I guess that must have been a warping device. A warping device, huh? I never imagined there'd be a device like that inside the mortal temple. Anyway, whatever, let's keep going. Yeah. Leave it to Yuri, just play. Let's not think about it. Braid hurts too much. Alright, got another new enemy here. The uh, Blooming Phoenixes. Not Blooming Onion, just Blooming Phoenixes, of course. Yeah, it says we get a first first go. Might go and com combo with everyone. Oh, well, there we go. Anastasia will take a picture of them, and then we'll finish them off with uh, magic or whatever, so. All right, take a snapshot. All right, and we could just, let's see. Yeah, they're uh, wind elemental, so. Team with earth cast i don't have a uh, wind magic uh, but do i i usually don't use uh, with geppetto i tend to always use his uh even though even though there's more powerful spells and yeah, i'll have to use one of his 
Actually, I could use ecstasy. Oops. Hit that all too early. Oh, well, whatever. Not a big deal. Yeah, I weirdly tend to use Geppetto's ma marionette spells more than his actual crest magic. Even though crest magic is more utilitarian, uh, more, you have more options with it. Uh, let's see. Let's try it. Let's just get aim up for some of uh... <laughs> One smack. All right, we get a terror root for no damage and Is it over already? zero turns, some soul. Kind of depend, change just depends on the creature. I right, block again to level. Right, I think we got one more monster to find uh, before before we can swap out a uh, Anastasia or Anastasia, whatever. All right, and then the other enemy we found was the blooming phoenix. One of the four holy creatures, it burns eternally due to the phoenix chick it devoured. Legends say a phoenix will be born upon its uh, again upon its death. Very heinous phoenix in this case. Why does everything have just weirdly defined abs? I don't know why. It just surprised me. Anyway, has 266 HP, 158 MP, lightweight, two, 950 experience, 777 cash, two souls, and its item drops are... Uh, let's see. Sorry, I had to look it up. Uh, Talisman of Luck or and Terra Extracts. Terra Extracts is the rare version. It's immune to Paralysis, Petrify, P Attack Down, P Defense Down, S Attack Down, S Defense Down, Evade Down, and de HP Down. Okay. Yeah, let's keep going. All right, let's go this way first. This place also has a lot of uh, save spots too. Anyway, we get the blue crystal here, so. Take a look at that. Maybe it would be faster if I go down and set up. No, about the same. Blue crystal. A crystal containing the cold of the ice that seals the immortal mountain's vent when offered at the shrine of the mountain's unseen paths are lighted. All right, let's go back. All right, Geppetto gained a level from there. So anyway, let's take the blue crest. We actually want to go back to this one right here. There is a there is an altar next to the save spot a little bit farther ahead, but we want to put the blue crystal in here, and then we want to teleport. All right, let's go this way. There should be a treasure chest not too far away. All right, let's grab this. That'll give us the yellow crystal. So, okay. Let's take a look at that one. Eh, where are you? There it is. A crystal containing the earthly essence of the immortal mountain's bedrock. When offered at the shrine within the mountain, new paths are forged. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back. And then get attacked. Man, I still haven't found that other, uh, other creature yet. There's only one other creature. Well, there's other creatures, but there's one other creature we can uh, take a picture of, but... All right. Well, anyway, let's take a put the yellow crystal in here. All right, teleport. Okay, let's head this way. And we'll go this path for now. Yeah, the dungeon's not too super bad. It's just mazy. That's all. Oh, finally, we got another enemy there. The uh, lava lamp lump. Lava, lava, lump. My lovely lady lumps. Check me out. Oh, wait. I shouldn't say stuff like that. I'm like a 40-plus-year-old white guy. Anyway. <laughs> All right, let's just finish these guys off. I just want to defeat. Let's see. You're right next to him, so. Um, I don't think you can finish him off with just... I know you can finish off him with your attacks. At least you should be able to. There you go. And actually, I don't even think with your your uh, air cast you'll be able to finish him off. Mm. Oh well. Because I think he'll do not enough damage. Unless I unless I perfect with it, I don't think I'll do enough damage.
You know, you think with me knowing all the enemy weaknesses, you think I'd be obviously have the magic prepared for this type of stuff, but sometimes I'm kind of lazy, depending on my mood when it comes to crests. Sometimes I'll equip it, and sometimes I'll just leave it, whatever, whatever the game gives me. Ow. I better finish that guy off before he hits us. Otherwise, he'll do a ton of damage. Yeah, that's a bit overkill for Amon, but whatever. Weirdly enough, I don't use these guys too often. Crests are usually better than uh, than our albums. I mean, he'll probably jump out of my fish moth, but uh, almost didn't get that. I got some souls at least. All right, Yuri and Anastasia getting to level, so all right. Okay, anyway, if we check over here, we get the Hades fan for Lucia there. And everyone found, out, found all their equipment. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have bought the Poseidon's fan, but I wanted to buy it for uh, to read the description. So, anyway, yeah, a little bit of an upgrade. But a fan to have said been used by Hades himself. Said to have been used by Hades himself, decorated with bizarre anatomical motifs, plucks the victim's soul from the wheel of re reincarnation forevermore. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go back. We actually want to get rid of these. Uh, teleport back, and we want to remove the crystals. Okay. Yeah, take that one out. And then let's head back this way. This is one of the dungeons, like I said. Not super hard. It's really just kind of about checking, see which... You, which Location goes where, and then, you know, and so forth and so on. But, right, take that one out. And then we want to go teleport back again. With the red crystal. Okay, I actually forgot I want to swap out uh, Anastasia at this point. Let's go and put Lucia there. And let's go and items here. Oh, did I ever go over what the oracle earrings say? Probably not. Made of wood, fire, fire hardened clay, and gold with a water pattern. All five of the ancient yin-yang elements are here. Increases ma magician's mystical strength, which gives you 20% MP. Warrock earrings. Prize given to the best pupils of the Roy Son Academy. School for the court conjurers. Special attack damage is increased, and so is the damage received. That'll help her with her magical damage. Let's see. Coral pendant. And bandit earrings. Okay. Let's head back. Okay, we want to grab the red crystal here. Okay, so we want to put the yellow crystal here now. Teleport. And then we want to head left here. And we want to put the blue crystal in. And then there should be an altar right just not too far away. Oops. Put the red crystal in. Teleport. Okay, there should be... Ah, there it is. Alright, here we get this another small jug, so... Actually, I guess I don't really need to equip it, but yeah, you can get two of these things, so. Well, anyway, let's go back. Yeah, we were just here for that small jug, so. Okay, well, basically we want to backtrack again. Because all that was there for the... Man, there's... Alright, Kronda gained a level, and man, I didn't realize uh, how many... Uh... Ah, uh, there's a blue crystal there. So 
how wibbly wobbly this place is when I think about it, but anyway. Teleport back there. Actually, that wasn't my original thought, but my brain escaped it, so I don't know what that was meaning now. Anyway, let's put the blue crystal in here. Whoops. Let's remove that really quick. I want the blue crystal. Okay, now let's go. All right, let's... Karen, Lucia, and Blanca gained a level from that encounter. Okay. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna put the... Oh, wait, no, never mind. Not here, not here. I'm gonna put the... Uh... Yeah, see, we this room is very familiar already, so... Yeah, let's put the red crystal this time. All right. And up this way, yeah, we'll find the Orias Crest here. Let's take a look at that. Uh, Orias Crest. Wish these were in alphabetical order. Anyway, this has Rock Strike and Red Cradle in it. Everything's getting so, so expensive. Anyway. Okay, and then let's put the yellow crystal here. Alright, what awaits us at the end of this path, I wonder? Alright, Geppetto gained a level, and if we go up this way, we'll find another wolf? Hmm, what, just like Blanca almost. Interesting. Now let's prepare for this guy. So for this guy, well, let me get uh, let me swap him out for these two. Actually, I don't know why I took off the coral pendant. I already had that on the uh, on you. So I want to swap out. Let me give you the mind's eye, and I want to give you a Leonardo's bear because this guy can possibly insta kill me with his ability. Okay. Uh, also, uh, let's see. Uh, have I... Did I still leave that one crest off? No. Let me take this off. And I want... Where's that one ability? Yeah, this one's really good just for single stuff, so... Because we want to use, basically... Rage and Shield will make this fight super easy, so... Um... Uh, you could use, uh, Water uh, Aqua, but I think that's a little unnecessary to do, but Aqua Edge would work if you really want to, or Water Magic if you're going to go with a magic route with Blanca. So, anyway. Haven't had visitors in a long time. I'm getting a weird sense of pressure in my chest. Hey, who are you? My name is Lobo. They used to call me the King of Wolves. Lobo, eh? So you're him. I've got a question for you. A wolf answers to no one. Only strength will make a wolf submit. Do you really think you have that kind of strength? I don't feel confident right now. I do, and don't forget it. You whiny little pup! I'll show you the strength of the king of the wolves! Remember those words, and now get ready for defeat. That's not kind of the voice I expected out of Lobo for boss time against the King of Wolves, Lobo himself. Yeah, he hits us with fire magic, but as you can see, his fire magic isn't anything super impressive. All right, let's go with Gale, just to get our uh, turns faster. And then we'll go with Shield. And then rage, and we'll be good to go. Actually, technically, I probably don't even need rage. Because I've got Mind's Eye. But, yeah. Alright, let's get him. Get him, boy! Oh, yeah. Lobo has 1,010 HP, Fire Elemental, 5,000 experience drop, 0 soul, 0 MP. 
normal weight, 5,000 in cash, and he drops instant death three. So. Yep. With Mind's Eye, just makes it a joke. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, if you've got the Mind's Eye, why not use it? Good boy. Yep. So this is the strength of youth? I guess I'm getting old. It's the job of the young to carve out the future. Old men should stand aside. Yeah, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Blanca, child of my own blood, you beat me. So it's true then. But why? You were in no shape to fight. A warrior never stops fighting, but my own son wasn't cut out for battle. He left home, and I hear he lived out his days in a peaceful forest. But now I see his son chose the path of the warrior. Dot, dot, dot. I don't have any more time left. Blanca, ask Ernst everything. Or Ernest everything. I don't know why I keep saying it's Ernst. It's not Ernst, it's Ernest. Anyway, we learned the Aurora ability. And we finally get all our wolf bouts completed. Ernest, the one who thought up this whole stupid competition. Ask him? Oh man, this seems super serious. Hopefully it doesn't end up with something really, really goofy. Wait, this is Shao, it's carved in. It's gonna be really, really goofy. But anyway, let's take a look at uh, the final creature. Lobo, uh, 20, age 26. He's got also big whiskers. Anyway, he's born, born in New Mexico, huh? I wonder if there's any I wonder if we're gonna be referencing anything, anything like that in the third game. Uh, anyway, Lobo, king of the wolves, trapped and starved to death by humans. Although over a hundred years old in dog years, he has the heart of a young warrior. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, oh yeah, I need to show off my Aurora ability. So, oops. Aurora restores all HP to all allies. Yeah, so it's worth getting this just to, just to get all, basically a cure-all for everyone. So gives you a reason to use... I mean, not that there's any reason not to use Blanca, but it gives you reasons to use Blanca on a more regular basis. So, oh yeah, the instant death three, which is... Well, not too many monsters are instant death. and by, Usually if you have enough power or mind's eye or whatever, you're almost one-shotting anything anyway, so it's not really... I mean, I don't really need instant death, really, when you think about it, so. Uh, where is the warrior? I thought I had him equipped with the, uh... Oh, no, I gave him the comb, right? I gotta give you back the mind's eye. Okay. But yeah, it'll be a little while, but... We won't be too... Well, there's a couple of more dungeons, but then we'll finally be able to see the end of the uh, the wolf spout. So, okay. All right, let's backtrack and grab everything. Yeah, the big thing about this was getting uh, the wolf bout, the final wolf bout. Well, the final, the standard stuff before we go to the uh, end of this thing. But like I said, it'll be... We'll have to do a few more dungeons, and then we'll be able to do all the side quests. Yeah, it's weird how they have some side quests that go throughout the whole game. And then they have quite a few side quests that don't start till basically the end of the game. Yeah, let's go all the way back now. Uh, I think I might almost have maxed out my affinity with uh, Yuri. Almost. We're getting there. With Blanca, anyway. I'm trying to... Well, I don't know if I'll ever be able to show off what happens when you get max affinity. Because it doesn't guarantee it. Because there's instances that it can occur when characters have max affinity with each other in battle. But I either battles don't last long enough or something to really show off what that means if that makes sense but you know what can i do about that so but anyway all right let's go okay we want to redo the go back to the blue one we'll put go back to red with this one and this one time we do want to go by the altar by the save point this time because last time remember we skipped it before Actually, let's go and save it. I mean, it should be a good time to do that. It's been a hot minute since I've saved it. Okay, let's put in the blue crystal now. And 
Okay, we want to go down this way. And here we find... The Ring Soul! Ah, uh, this is the final one, viewers. Oh, it's all come down to this. Hi. Oh, a hi. What's up with you? Uh, nothing, I'm fine. Well, this is awkward. Today's the last time you, you know, the last time I do this. That's your job, just to give me rings and after that, attack boosts after that, you, what do you do for the rest of your days? You, days you retire or something? I've had a lot to deal with recently, and I couldn't have gone on with this ring soul job without you. Me? Yeah. At first I thought I just needed to get the job done and go, but then we had some disagreements, we talked, and then we were cool friends. I think that's pretty cool. Which is weird, because the game starts out with Karen and him talking, but then ends up, becomes up with him and Yuri become friends. Okay, whatever. <laughs> hey, you're embarrassing me here. So here you are. This is for you with my thanks. And at that, we get the last attack boost in the game. Thank you. Good luck, okay? Listen, let's go get a drink once I'm done. We can go down to Mika. There are some good bars down there. Sure, you got it. Great, I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you off for today, okay? See you then. And that's it. That's the Ring Soul side quest, if you want to call it a side quest. So huh. that was a fun little journey. Silly at times, you know, the whole possibly his ring wife possibly cheating on him. Like what? <laughs> uh, the silliness of uh, you know, Shadow Arts Covenant, am I right? So, okay. Anyway, let's go this way now. But yeah, that's it. This whole. All right. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's just been a long journey. It's just... this game starts out like serious and it has like super goofy moments. It's just kind of crazy when you think about it. But anyway, uh, oh wait, no, I want to go over this way. Whoops. Anyway, over here, there's a another hidden item, the huge jug. These are easy to miss because like, how would you even know to check that? But anyway, okay, now let's put in the yellow crystal. You have so many secret items that you really, like, how would you know? Other than just click it every single spot in the game. But anyway, we'll move on to the next area, as you can see here, so. The fire area. Hmm. Anyway, if we go down this way. Okay, there should be a chest around here. Yeah, there it is. Sorry, so, like I said, if I'm slowing down, it's because I'm looking at my notes at the same time, so. Okay, you get a Terra Extract there. All right, Yuri gained a level there. All right, let's go back now into this room and we'll take a other direction. All right, Blanca, Lucia, and Joaquin gained a level there. All right, let's go to the next area. And if we hug this side here, should find, where is it? Should be right, there it is. All right, find a seal of life here. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, I know where some stuff is, but I still have to reference stuff when I go double check it again, just to make sure. I just write, it's in this area to the right or something like that sometimes on my notes, so you'll have to forgive me. All right, let's see what we find ourselves in if we go this path. Hot lava, it's hot, 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 hot. But anyway, if we go over here, yeah. All right, Geppetto gained a level, and yeah, you can barely see it, but there's a chest over here. And we get the Kogaru Ma uh, Kogari Maru for uh, Ken uh, Karando there. A treasure bestowed upon Kanmu, first emperor of Japan. For more than 1,000 years, the sword has watched over Japan. Poorly. No, I'm just kidding. Ouch. Well, you know, after World War II and all that, so... Yeah, look at that. Yeah, let's keep going down. Getting hard, deeper and deeper in the heart of Texas. I mean, Mount Fuji, of course. Yeah, this one's pretty straightforward, not much to this part. Kato and the others were here. Yeah, we saw it in the vision. I wonder where they all went. They're dead. Uh, 
Uh, someone, so, someone pretended to be Moses, huh? Yeah, what are you going to do about the slaves now, Moses? Okay. It's always funny remembering that version of the, of the Ten Commandments. Looks like they went this way. You don't say. Anyway, before we go over there, let's grab the treasure chest. Oh, whoops, you have to go over here. Sorry. Sorry, I was thinking the other going around the bullet bottom path or whatever, so. Hey, come on. There we go. Some reason it's a little bit tricky to get over here. Anyway, got a mana extract there. Okay, and then down this way should be a flare or an item here. The flare brooch, brooch, whatever. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. But all right, flare brooch. Where are you? Now I thought it was under the accessories for some reason. Oh wait, Psh, derp. It's unique to Yuri. I don't know why I uh <laughs> I was looking somewhere else. I was like, yeah, it's Yuri's unique item. I don't had a brain brain moment there. But yeah, this is similar to the flare brooch in the last game. The crest of the fire goddess Legi uh, Legina, set with a crimson stone. Its light reduces the pain of the harmonics or reducing SP loss during infusion by fifty percent. So not bad. I if you know how to use your SP or anything like that, or sorry, uh, finishing fights too early, it's actually not that important to use, but hey, what can you do? But it's still nice to have for those who, you know, because this game can be as difficult or as hard depending on how good you are at using the soul systems and stuff like that. So I remind myself to use some of these seals. I used a lot of these seals off screen. I did like one battle and just had... Uh, you know, Lucia used the strike zone expand ability, which basically gives you 1.5 times your damage if you use a strike. And if you hit a seal with the strike, you get a little bit, you get one extra, one or two extra points. The only one it doesn't work on is the seal of the soul. Because I used it, I hit the crit, and it still only gave me two. So that's the one of the few that doesn't, yeah, 1.5% does not give it you three uh, SP. So that one you can just hit the strike zone without casting the ability. But the rest of them do work, so. All right, let me go ahead and heal. And then save it. And then I'm going to do some prep work for the boss fight up ahead. Because it's the end of the dungeon. Of course, we're going to be fighting a boss. So let me do that. And I'll be back in just a second. All right, this guy's another group for the meleeers here. And Anastasia for the picture and for buffing. Um, really, the big thing is on re-customization, I'd put, give delay to your two more common fighters so we're going to do a Yuri and Karando um, equipment wise since he doesn't do any crazy effects we don't have to do anything crazy for uh, so whatever best works for your party um, in terms of damage or whatever um, other than that I would have the arc on crest stuff all the arc buffs um, but we're going mainly rage because uh, the boss can cast barrier um, and we also need to make sure to do a, do a ton of damage because this boss can heal quite regularly, so we have to be careful with that. Uh, I think that's pretty much it that I can think of. So, all right, let's go. Huh, Kato. Yuri, so you have finally arrived. How you doing? You okay? You tell me. How do I look? <laughs> You're a tough cookie, all right. Mm. <laughs> You're too late. Nikolai! That's no longer the Nikolai that you knew. <laughs> so, did you miss us? Very soon now, the destruction of this world will begin. Destruction? Yes, that's right. Destruction. The malice released in the world will soon destroy it. What are you going to do? 
waste him. Be careful. His claws are poisoned with malice. There's no antidote for that. One scratch, and that's it. <laughs> I got it. It cannot be avoided. My soul has been revived. The age of mankind is coming to an end. Joy, sadness, desire, all of it is finished now. I will usher in a glorious new future. Before you do, can I ask a favor? What do you wish, you? I wish you'd shove it. You know where. Gonna tell you where to shove it for boss time against uh we'll rematch against well astaroth that's neo astaroth this time so let's go with our favorite group build so yeah i love this boss thing neo astaroth has 6120 hp 630 mp no element lightweight and then let's go ahead and get some quick damage on it while we're here hopefully we'll get the delay to activate but you know can't guarantee it but Nah, let's try Karando. Might as well uh, change to uh, Demon Morph because this guy uh, hits us with Bright Crest, so. But anyway, uh, he drops uh, well after I attack with him. Uh, he drops 46,000 experience, 270 souls, 47,000 cash, delay 3, and he also drops a uh, Crest item. Okay, let's go with get a uh, Arc Shield going. Uh, he's immune to poison, D poison, paralysis, seal, petrify, KO, P attack down, P defense down, S attack down, S defense down, slow, evade down, HP down. So he's only susceptible to delay, but unfortunately, my delays are kind of weak, low probability, so there's not a high chance it'll happen. Oh well. Uh, if you can hit him with a high combo rate, he can drop a Dark Angel, extra souls for a low enemy turn, and extra cash. I want to try to get a high combo with him at some point. All right, let's go and cast uh, Barrier, because he likes... Actually, Gale. Gale first. Always Gale. Nothing but Gale. And then Barrier. Okay. Well, you don't have any abilities I can really use anyway, so I'll wait till we all buff before we do that. I try, if you can get the lay on him, he could actually not get any turns. That's how crazy that is, but unfortunately... Unfortunately, it's got such a low probability. It's most likely not going to happen, so. I can always try. Alright, I don't think I need a... Oh, yeah. I only quit to you Arc Rage just in case. Yeah, we do pretty decent amount of damage with everyone in the group, so. Yeah, see, this is why you want to go Rage, because he casts Barrier on himself. But I can do it. I can do barrier too. Nyan nyan boo boo. All right. Let's see. Can we get a combo in? Let's see. If I attack, I'll still get. Well, if I can hit with delay, that'd be great. But that's not guaranteed. Oh, we got delay on him. Nice. Okay. Now yeah, we go in combo with Anastasia then. So we can get that one high combo and then we'll go from there. Yeah, he can... Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot to go over some of the abilities he can do. He can do uh, Meteor Burst, Bryce, Cr Bright Crest, Cure Plus, Barrier, and he has the delay ability if he physically attacks us. So... Alright, let's combo with 
Anastasia. All right, let's, uh, I'll snapshot next turn. So let's go with uh, Gale Spark. All right, and then let's go with, let's go with Fides or Fides or whatever. So Inferno. I said I just need like 30 plus. I think it's like 35 or something like that. It's still crazy that even with all these combos, it's better to physically attack him with my with well, at least not with Yuri, it's better to physically attack him. But Alright, let's go with Death Tron Hammer. And then uh, sorry, and then Moon's Rainbow. I don't know what the highest combo you can get this game is. I think it's only, I think it's like, uh, let's see, 15. I think it's 60. If you hit everything right, I think you could get 60 hits plus. I think that's the best you can do on damage. Or combos, anyway. So I'm getting, I got close. Ow. Ow. I'll just heal with a. Um, actually, I want a snapshot with her. So. Let's see if we can get the way off on him. Nope. Oh. Hmm. Uh. God, rather you get snapshot. I didn't. I actually didn't want a combo with them, so. Because I want to get snapshot going. I can cure with Joaquim on his turn. Oh, there we go. Got delay on him, so nice. So I can just uh, arc here with uh, Anastasia then. So yeah, he's almost done. So yeah, it's kind of crazy how much damage we can do on on a, this guy. Look at that. He's almost dead. I mean, I probably don't even need the cure at this point, but... God, if you know what you're doing in this game, a lot of bosses are jokes. At least later, in-game stuff, anyway. Goodbye, Astaroth and uh, Nikolai. I'm sorry that it came to this, but you left us no choice. That was a pretty good warm up. Hey, anyway, we got the Dark Angel uh, within three turns, 27 souls, and 5,640 cash. So I got the delay in Astaroth, uh, the Astaroth crest, too. So, all right, be prepared for some scenes and some sadness. But that's just the way of Shadow Hearts. Karen. Uh, uh. Nikolai. Uh. Get back! Uh. Uh. Don't think you can escape the curse of the mistletoe. Uh. Uh. Thanks to you, all my plans have been ruined. Uh. I thought you forgot that. No. And now, you'll die for it. You'll die instead. You 
you son of a... Karen! Master. Oh. Oh, God. Are you hurt? I... I'm fine. I'm so glad. Oh, God. Hey, Alice, are you in there? Yuri. I... I've got to get in there. Huh? It won't open. Why won't it open? I've got to get in. What the hell is this? Why? Avoid me! Fight me. He's awake. Fight me? What's that? He said it. Hm. Yuri. Where am I? The fountain of Sukune. <laughs> hey! Stay still! <laughs> Don't try to get up. They're right. You've been out for three days. You've got to take it easy. Three days? What about Kato? Is he dead? No. But we were the only ones who got out of there. I see. He said that if you lived, you should come to the Foreigner's Cemetery. Foreigner's Cemetery? In Yokohama? Mm. I got it. Thank you. 
Yuri, you're awake. Good. All our prayers that were heard. Yeah, a bunch of sad scenes like, you know, uh, uh, Nikolai gets his head crushed by Kato. Kato loses the love of his life twice, basically. So, you hmm. just, you just not, just can't have her. So, looks well, like I caused you all this worry, but I'm fine now. Don't brush it off like that. Understand how poor Karen's been feeling, nursing you night and day without sleep. Almost like a paternal figure. Huh? You really did that? Yeah, well, you know. Yuri. Yes? And everybody else, too. Listen to me. With Astaroth's death, the threat of natural disaster is gone. But an even greater crisis, a profound sorrow, threatens to darken the sky. A feeling of empty destruction. Is it him? Who's him? Why are we playing the pronoun game here? Tell me who it is. I hear the screams of a heart stifled by sorrow and rage. Anguish that no one can heal. I know that feeling. Are you going to put an end to it? For a friend? Yes. He is a good friend of mine. Very well. Go then. Go to your destiny. It is your destiny, Skywalker. I mean, uh, Yuri. Or Hyuga. So, be careful. Okay. So, before we call it an episode, uh, yeah, a bunch of sad moments, but we want to head to the, well, Head to the foreigners' uh, cemetery and see what Kato has to say about this whole thing. Time we have a heart to heart after this whole situation. What his plans are, what my plans are, you know. Can we just call it a draw? Oh yeah, let me uh, go over the. Uh, whoops, not party members. Uh, library. All right, let's see. The lava lump. Did I go over those guys? Trapped within a hideous body of molten lava, the human soul inside is doomed to spend an eternity in its burning prison. 291 HP, 176 MP, normal weight, 1,780 experience, 1,462 cash. Souls, three uh, in terms of item drops. It is terror root and a cosmic bracelet, which is the rare drop. He's immune to poison, deep poison, paralysis, seal, instant death, delay, slow, and HP down. And then, let's see. Uh, we already did Scorpulus, I believe. Uh, Neo Astaroth. Freed of Nikolai's ego, his terrible presence drives men to slaughter each other like crazed animals. This suit as this suits Astaroth, and who prefers to his own hands unsullied. Neo Astaroth. 6,100... Oh, wait, we went over that. I don't know why I did that again. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. And then... I don't think we characters Saki Inugumi Ugami, leader of the Inugami clan and Katsuragi. She has great spiritual powers and uses the fountains of Sukune to aid Yuri. Her beauty belies her actual age. Yes, yeah, sir. And she's fire elemental. Okay. Oh yeah, crest. Almost forgot to go over the crest. So uh let's whoops the Astaroth's crest that we got, so Astaroth gives holy resist, which uh, increases one's light class special attack defense, and bright crest. Which, I, even though I know all the attack spells, if you know what you're doing, you don't really need to do the resist spell abilities. But anyway, Bright Crest as well. But if you're a first-time player, obviously. But you still have to be kind of aware that it's almost like you use it after you get killed once by the boss. And you're like, okay, let's try this again. But anyway. Alright, let's go to the Foreigner Cemetery and see what Kado has to say. I assume he buried Uk Oka. Sorry, but I want to go alone. Can you all wait here for me? Yeah, it's a man's conversation. Alright, we'll wait for you at the Yokohama Inn. So you're alive, huh? You too. And Oka? I'm sorry. It's the second time I've lost her. Hmm. 
love lasts for such a short time. But misery goes on and on. Now my path is an empty one. I have no love left. No dreams. Kato. Kamiyashiki. In Azabu, that's where you'll find Minister Ishimura. Now no one will get in your way. You should go and talk to him. And you? What will you do? The... Emigre Manuscript. Yes. I give it back to you. Hey, wait. Don't you want to see Alice again? If you follow the instructions in that book, then you can be with her again. Wait a minute. I don't know how to use magic. Roger should be able to help you. He can bring her back to life. Exactly the way I did. Y yeah, but isn't that... Yuri. From now on, I'm your enemy. Huh? This is the last time we'll ever speak as friends. What do you mean? The world as you know it will end. By my hand. If you really think that you can stop me, my old friend, bring everything you have. Unlike Nikolai and Rasputin, I won't depend upon the power of some evil god. I'll do it with my own hands. Come on. Enough with the joking. This is no joke. If you want to know what my plans are, look inside that book. There isn't much time left. Kato! Farewell, my friend. You know, ending the world after your girlfriend died twice by kind of your hands and those around him is a kind of extreme, don't you think? But anyway, yeah, Kato has now become the enemy of the, my enemy. So no longer enemy of my enemy is my friend in this case. Now he's the enemy of my enemy of my enemy. But he has told us the location of one of our enemies, Ishimura himself, who caused a lot of this to occur in the first place. will await us in the Az, not, uh, Azabu Kama, Kamiyashiki. We'll find out next time in the next episode of Shadow Hearts Covenant. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.